From homes to apartments and businesses, property values in Minnehaha County didn't rise as much as last year, but they're still up. The director of equalization says last year's increase was 14.4%. This year, it's 9.3%. Kelloland's Lauren Solig takes a look at how that applies to your property taxes and the help available for taxpayers. An average market adjustment of 9.3% may be lower than last year, but Chris Lilla, the director of equalization for Minnehaha County, says it's still high compared to what many have been used to. Looking historically, if we go back five years ago, the average increase in the county was 5.7%. Four years ago was 6.3%. Three years ago was 18.8%. Last year was 14.4%. And this year is 9.3%. So you can see the the peak is coming down, but it's still an increase. According to the South Dakota Department of Revenue, the amount of tax you pay is determined by multiplying your tax rate by your property's taxable value. When it comes to the tax bill, um, unfortunately, that's the county budgets, the school budgets, the city or township budgets that determine those and divide that back in. Lilla says there are programs available to help some people pay their property taxes. For example, the Elderly Freeze Program, which recently had qualification changes. If an individual is 65 years or older and they're living on a fixed income, whether it be Social Security and Medicaid only, um, there's a two-part test to see if they can qualify for that. The first is, is the property value. And this year, the property value has to be less than $345,000. That's a big increase over where it has been in years past. So we have a lot more people that are going to be qualifying now because the values have moved up. He says that program is not a tax freeze, but rather a value freeze. So the way that works, if I'm 85 years today and my property value is $285,000, what was the value of, of my property in the year that I turned 65? So what was the value of my property 20 years ago? Th we will freeze that value and you will pay tax against that value of what it was 20 years ago. There are also programs available for disabled veterans and people with renewable energy sources in their homes, among others. In Sioux Falls, Lauren Solick, Kelloland News. And today, commissioners also learned that there were more than 8,000 building permits last year in Minnehaha County. The values of those permits are increasing due to big projects like Amazon and new apartments.